Sun Zhongshan was the great pioneer of Chinese Democratic Revolution, and passed away on March 12, 1925. He put forward the famous guiding principle, driving the invaders out, restoring the sovereignty of China, establishing a republic, and equalizing the land ownership, and the three people as principles, nationalism, democracy and the people as livelihood. The location of the mausoleum was chosen by Mr. Sun himself. In order to respect Mr. Sun's wish, the preparatory committee of Sun Zhongshan's funeral, including his wife Song Qingling and his son Sun Qi, examined the area and chose the site for the mausoleum. They offered a reward in newspaper for the best design of the mausoleum. Among all the contribution, young architect Lu Yanzi's design, a design in the shape of a bell, was highly praised, and gained the first prize. He was invited to supervise the whole project as well. On March 12, 1926, the first anniversary of Mr. Sun's death, the project got started, and three years later, it was completed in spring of 1929. Unfortunately, Lu Yanzi, the young architect with great gift, suffered when supervising the project, and died at 35, just before the completion of the mausoleum. After entering the mausoleum, ahead is a square in shape of crescent. To the south, there is the octagon platform structured with reinforced concrete. On the platform a copper ding, which is an ancient cooking vessel, was built in autumn, 1933, with donation of students and teaching staff, of the Zhongshan University, and Mr. Dai Ji Tao. Inside of the ding, stands a hexagon copper tablet, on which Dai Ji Tao's mother's handwriting, of the filial piety is engraved. Stepping on the steps, you will see a soaring memorial archway with four columns. The archway was built between 1931 and 1933. The shining words inscribed on the horizontal board, in English mean fraternity. They were written by Dr. Sun Zhang Shan. Further from the fraternity archway, there is a road leading to the mausoleum. The road is 480 meters long and dozens of meters wide. The pines, cypresses, ginkgos and maples on the both sides of the road. Inscribed on the horizontal board of the Grand Archway is Dr. Sun Zhongshan's handwriting. It means that the state belongs to the entire nation and the common people. This is the goal for which Mr. Sun struggled for his whole life. The stele in the middle of the stele pavilion was engraved with 24 gold plating characters, Chinese Guomindang buried Premier Sun here, on June 1, 18th year of the Republic of China. These words were written by one of the founder members of Guomindang, Tan Yan Kai. Going out of the pavilion, you will see numerous layers of steps. There are two big copper ding, with two holes in the bottom of the left ding. In late 1937, when the Japanese army attacked Nanjing, their shooting left two holes in the left ding. Ascending the steps, now you have reached the top of the platform. The memorial hall is the halfway up to the mountain and there are altogether 392 steps covered, if you count from the archway of fraternity. The number of the steps, 392, is not a random number, it implied the number of Chinese population, at that time, namely 392 million. The memorial hall and the coffin chamber are the major parts of the mausoleum. The structure of the sacrificed hall is of ancient wooden palace style. The inscription on the horizontal board is engraved, with seal characters cut in relief, naturalism, democracy, and the people's livelihood. Above democracy, there is a horizontal inscription board, with Sun's handwriting on it, fill the world with justice. 
In the middle of the memorial hall is, the sitting statue of Dr. Sun Zhang Shan in a robe. It was sculpted by the famous French sculptor Paul Arinsky, whose native country is Poland. Passing through the hall, you have come to the coffin chamber. The tomb is a half globe in shape. The design of Guomindang emblem, is mosaiced in the vaulted dome. In the pit of a white marble rails, lays Dr. Sun Zhang Shan lying statue in Zhang Shan suit. This is sculpted in accordance to Mr. Sun's remains by a Czechoslovakian sculptor. Passing through the door in the back wall of the square outside, you will arrive at the Mausoleum Park. The back wall of the park is an exhibition of construction of Dr. Sun Zhang Shan's Mausoleum.